we're just 21 days from primary day. And for months, we've watched a crowded field of contenders fight for City Hall. This holiday weekend opens a new chapter in the race. I've been really marking after Memorial Day weekend as when I think the bulk of the voters will start to really pay attention. To grab the attention of voters, today Maya Wiley shared her platform in Madison Square Park. Wiley is hoping to move up in the polls after fellow progressives, Scott Stringer and Diane Morales, both had to respond to campaign controversies in recent weeks. I'm really excited to be the progressive that can win this race. Another candidate feeling confident, Eric Adams. After strong fundraising for months, Adams has over $5 million in cash on hand for the final three weeks until the primary. You know, the money is great, but nothing beats the good old fashioned uh, you know, leather on the, uh, the streets, you know, look at my shoes. They're just so beat up. I've been, I, I have been crisscrossing this city. On Staten Island, Adam stopped by a Memorial Day commemoration. He shared ideas of how the city can better support our veterans. Those who are dealing with uh, mental health disorders because of combat, we're going to have a universal mindfulness meditation program for all veterans uh, through a digital platforms and using existing locations and spaces where our veterans congregate. And to reach Spanish-speaking New Yorkers, today Andrew Yang released a new TV ad. It's voiced by comedian John Leguizamo. Andrew Yang, sabe lo que más le importa a nuestra comunidad. On Staten Island, Ayanna Harry, Pix11 News.